blueprints and the foundation of your life can be concrete in God's word. And when you base your life upon it, I believe that you will live a life that is not only satisfying to your soul, um, but it's also satisfying to God. As somebody who is very into self-help books and definitely enjoys reading and being motivated by these people who've achieved great things, um, I'm also somebody who has a heavy faith in Jesus Christ. As a Christian and believer and follower of Christ, um, sometimes the two things I'm reading can collide. They can have opposite opinions or views on something, and when that happens, what do you do? For me, it's always very clear. If what I'm reading presents an idea that is controversy or um, and opposed to what the Bible says, I'm gonna go with the Bible. And so uh, I've done that time and time again, and God's word has never failed me. I don't believe it ever will. Now, when it comes to being somebody who uh, still has things that he wants to achieve in life, whether that's be in better shape, uh, be better at accounting, um, learning different techniques to be a better parent, or even something as simple as learning how to tell stories better. Uh, these are all things that I wouldn't say the Bible directly has a recipe for, and something that you can say, okay, I learned how to balance my books by looking at the Bible, right? And so uh, I learned how to do 10 ups better by reading the Psalms of Solomon. Uh, it's just, it's not where you're gonna go for certain areas of life. And so, um, I feel as though the idea that you cannot be a Christian and read self-help books is something that is just wild. Uh, what you're studying and what your occupation is, a lot of times is not where your faith lies. Uh, when I'm reading these books and I'm pulling these ideas or uh, these philosophies or even um, just small techniques that uh, I found to be helpful in living a more intentful life, uh, they are never in any way, shape or form replacing my faith replacing the thing which I put my weight and value in. I absolutely love essentialism and the philosophy that's taught through it and even consider myself an essentialist. Um, it's because the techniques and things that I've learned from that book have helped me to redirect other areas of my life that I deem as important. And so areas like reading my Bible, um, having a better relationship with Christ, and uh, being a better steward of the word, and being a better example of what it means to be a Christian in life. Uh, because those are things that I want to continuously grow and be better at, I'm reading books that are gonna help me to do exactly that. Uh, the short answer, yes. I believe that if somebody is a Christian, they can also read self-help books um, and pull from it what they need uh, while continuing to walk and to fight the good fight. <laughs> you, if you, you may disagree, and that's completely fine. Uh, if you disagree, I'd love to hear why. And um, again, we're not, I'm not putting my eggs and all my faith into uh, these ideas that I'm coming across through uh, the self-help books. I believe he's given you all you need. And so when you're continuously looking for him and he's like, hey, well, God, give me the motivation and then you sleep in the next day, um, maybe the motivation can come from other direction. Motivation can come from other things, but still giving that glory and the credit back to God, um, I believe essential, which is why at the end of everything that I've ever posted or I ever do is HGA, His Glory Alone, uh, because while these other people get the respect and credit that they deserve. Um, anything that I do is for his glory. And so, um, yeah, this is a hard one because I wanna make sure that I'm not coming off as um, somebody who's lost their faith and has put it into these non-essential things where it's really the opposite. Um, being essential has helped me to be better in my faith. It's helped me to have a better schedule, or better structure, um, better understanding of the things that are important to me so that I can live a life evolved around those things instead of the opposite. Um, there's more and more I can say about this, guys, but um, I really want to hit home that you can have both. You can read the Bible, but also read other books that help you to live out what the Bible is teaching you. That's all I have for you guys on this one. Uh, see you in the next one. Peace.